हेलो एवरी वन आई एम सिद्धार्थ सिंह डांगी आई गॉट ऑल इंडिया रैंक टू हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी इन दिस ईयर एग्जाम फॉर मी द रीजन फॉर यू पी एस सी वॉज दैट ड्यूरिंग माई कॉलेज डेज आई हैड एक्सपीरियंस वेरियस वेरियस टेक्निकल फील्ड्स एंड आई यूज टू पार्टिसिपेट इन द वेरियस एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव एक्सेट्रा रोल्स इन द कॉलेज विच फर्दर एनकरेज मी टू टेक इट एट अ हायर स्केल uh during the well at at the national level and at the regional level no my parents are not in service my father is in psu but my younger brother is in service i'm hoping uh, to get indian police service ips my optional was electrical engineering i am a graduate from electrical engineering and i have i felt ki i had a good grip over the subject even during my college days and i have also prepared for engineering uh, indian engineering services and appeared for the exam my favorite subject first of all my optional other than that uh, ir i like a lot and history because history i feel it's a very good mirror to what has happened in the past in the society and what we should expect in the future also uh, i've got 304 this year in optional and interview i've got 198 essay also i feel in the past attempts i have done well uh, but this year it, the score was not very good but i think essay uh, i was strong my parents were very very supportive my journey was bit long but uh, i never got any pressure from their side and most of the time they were very supportive i think uh, i'd come with the idea to clear the attempt exam in the first attempt and the fact that i could not do it in the earlier attempts was the biggest setback itself it was very uh, not too much but not very limited also i am an active user of twitter because i like to share my views sometimes to for uh, chill i used to look at instagram etc but twitter was the major major insights i think i have been following almost since 2016 for the current affairs and for the prelims test series like you were one of the first people to come up with a very easy to follow prelims series without going to the center later uh, vinay sir also helped me a lot with my interview preparation for me are uh, digital notes i agree with the idea especially if you are not from the technical or engineering field i think it has become very difficult and i think dedicated preparation is needed for it especially one should look for the past year questions and if the trend continues and it gets even more difficult i think looking at papers like uh, cat paper etc should help both the papers i think were difficult compared to the last year paper and more than difficult i think the element of randomness has increased to some extent in the paper which troubles me so i think for the candidates not only completing the syllabus but navigating through such a random paper uh, through uh, improved and improvised uh, option selection i think it's very important the major distraction i had was uh, given uh, my educational background some of, some of my friends they are now doing very well in their life and so they are traveling outside posting these things some of them even have got married so there was this feeling that i, I may be missing something and sometimes it just used to distract me yeah so in this interview it was going very smooth uh, the final member he asked me if uh, we should legalize weed and my answer was no we should not i also justified it so he then asked me a question siddharth answer it in one word and answer it very quick uh, should uh, weed be uh, is weed a depressant or a hallucinogen and i answered very quickly hallucinogen and then he gave me a very clever smile and didn't say anything so then i uh, in the interview room i was thinking that okay i give gave the answer very fast and in a smart manner but later i realized that 
since i had said that it should not be legalized he was probably trying to check if this person has had weed sometime or not because only a person who has tried it can give the answer very fast and in a definite manner so uh, this shows how experienced these members are i am a very big sports follower especially i have like found many weird sports also which others don't follow for example i follow nfl it uh, american football a lot and the matches uh, around the september to february time they come on sundays i am not in the favor of starting it on the day one i think you need some basic content for it but once you have developed some basic content with the basic books you should start because unless you matlab the idea of answer writing in your head and actually implementing it they are very difficult different so one may think that they are going to write very bad answers or they are going to write very good answers unless you have written the answer actually you do not know the actual situation is so starting is very important my message would be if you are someone who has who is appearing for upsc and you have given multiple attempts you are probably among some of the most talented people in the country because you had invested so much uh, in the exam so try to redirect the talent towards some other field and you are young if one tries there's always avenues in life where we can succeed and maybe they may ultimately go on to become more successful than the successful candidates also so i think not losing hope is the key in this scenario with respect to the exam for the aspirants i think this the key to this journey is that uh, you have to identify and manage your weaknesses and uh, improvise and utilize your strengths uh, because there are seven papers and if you are able to identify your strengths you can utilize them very well and for the society i feel feel is uh, we need to reduce the hype around the exam okay the people who uh, clear it it's a good thing but i think the hype uh, makes the exam a larger than life thing and which is the reason why some candidates who do not clear it uh, feel like a failure which they should not it is just an exam and we should treat it that way